Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make twisted fringe earrings. By the way, I have a tutorial on how to make this top part of the earrings and in this video I'm gonna be showing you only the fringe. If you haven't watched this part with the flower earrings, go and watch it, it's here at the eye icon and down there in the description. If you're just curious how to make fringe, just watch the video and see how I do this beautiful spiral or twisted fringe. It's really easy and I'm sure you're gonna be using it in your projects a lot. And one more thing I want to tell you, these earrings I did with monofilament but you could make them also with nylon thread or fireline, it doesn't matter that much. I did them with monofilament because I prefer them to stay firm. And for the fringe I'm using nylon thread and I have a tutorial where I explain for which projects what type of thread to choose, here it is. And then I explain why for fringe you should use nylon thread. Uh, down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Uh, you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. So thank you so much for watching and now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads matching some of the colors of the project that you're using. This is Nibon beading thread which is size D. This means it is 0.2 millimeters thick. This is size 10 beading needle. And this is the project that I mentioned in the beginning and uh, that I'm linking to here at the eye icon and down there in description to these earrings we will attach our fringe. Okay, so I will take 4 feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I want to make it double for this project. That is why I will go here at the end and what I want to do is make a knot just to be sure it won't move and it will stay double. So both ends to be next to each other and to be one and the same. Okay, so I'm making here a knot by making a loop and going through this loop and pulling and I will repeat this knot one more time. Okay, probably I'll cut this knot after that, but now I need it to be sure it's all even and the same. Okay, so now I will take my work and I want to make the fringe from this side, just the opposite of my earring finding because I want it to dangle here. And how I'm going to do this I'm going here through some beads and go like this. Okay. Now here what I want to do is make a knot to attach this to my work. And in order to do this I'm making a loop. Okay, I want to make this loop smaller. And I will go through this loop once and then I will go a second time and then I will pull gently. Okay. And here I have another knot with which I attached my thread to my work. And what I want to do is go here through the following orange bead, okay? And now I will cut this excess thread, okay? And I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting it as close as possible to my work. And now I'm going to start my fringe work. Here with my first fringe what I want to take are 24 of these beautiful dark orange beads and 
I will pick them up one by one and I'll be back. Okay, and now I have my 6x4 which is 24 beads and I'm going to slide those down here just like this. Now I'm going to take just one black bead and slide it down and I'm going to pick up 24 again of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, and what I have here are 24 beads, which is 6 times 4 as you may see. And I'm going to slide those down as well. Just like this. And now guys, as I'm here, I will start twisting my work. I'm holding this part and I'm twisting. I will stick my needle in my mat, by the way. And I will start twisting from here next to my beads. Two times, three times, four times, five times, and I will continue some more. Okay, and now what I do is that I want to remove here the twisted part from the side of the needle. That is why I'm holding here and here it's twisted, but here from here on it's not twisted anymore, if you understand. I'm just rubbing the thread and removing the twist from this side where my needle is. Okay, so now I'm holding here. And what I want to do is go here while still holding this and I will go through this orange bead that is next to the black. So I was exiting from the first orange, now I'm skipping the black one and going out of the next orange. There is still twist here of my thread a little bit of twist I didn't remove all of this and now I will help help my twist and my spiral to form just like this okay just a little bit of fixing okay here it is and now what I want to do is go through the next red one. Okay, here. Now I will repeat this, but I will put less beads. I will put 23 orange beads, one black bead and 23 yellow beads and I'll be back. Now I have 23 orange, one black, 23 yellow. And I'm going to start the same thing. I will start twisting here. Twisting. Twisting. And I will remove the twist from the other part. And again, twisting. 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 Okay, I will continue this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I continue twisting, I'm holding here this tail thread like this because I want this part to stay twisted and this part not to be twisted where my needle is. And what I do is that I go in this direction still holding my tail thread like this. And I want to go through the following red. Okay. And then my spiral works great. If it doesn't work okay, just go out of this bit and uh, make more twists and then come back again. Okay, so this is what I have. Now I will go through the following 
bit here and I will make another spiral like this but this time I will do this with 22 beads 22 orange one black and 22 yellows okay and I have 22 one black 22 and I'm going to do the twist okay I will continue doing it off camera as many times as I can and I'll be back Okay, and I continue twisting off camera and I remove the twist from this part where my needle is. And now guys, what I want to do is hold this thread here and go through the next bead. Okay, I'm going through it. And then I'm helping my twist. Okay, here it is. And now guys, I will continue doing this. I will repeat these steps from here like a mirror. I will make 22, 23 and 24. Just repeat this but the other way around here. And then I will be back at the last step to show you how I'm finishing my work. Okay guys, and as I continue with two more of those fringes with 22 and 24 beads I'm here at my last step where I'm adding 24 beads from the orange and the yellow and I already twisted my work and straightened it up here where my needle is and now as I'm exiting from this orange here next to the black here that I'm pointing with my finger I'm holding my tail thread like this because I don't want it to untwist and what I want to do is go through the following orange bead okay still holding here you see Oops, this fringe went inside this loop. I will remove it. Okay, and I'm pulling. And now, guys, my last fringe is ready. Twisted fringe. If you think the twist is not uh, good enough and it's not big enough, just go back and twist it again more times and now what I want to do here is make a knot and cut my thread and I will make it the same way I showed you before but here my thread is smaller it will be a little bit harder maybe you should take a bigger thread than I did and I'll do it anyways okay I'm going through the loop once and then I pull okay then what I want to do is go through the following seed beads just like this and if you can repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now your fringe earring is ready okay guys and now my twisted fringe earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and if you have any questions ask me anything in the comments down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you could also check my second channel with the fast clip Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from